you want a big site. So what's happening, guys? Good Sunday, Mark. Yes, yes. And I thought today, you know, waste no time. Jump into today's uh, Joe's Massive Traction review. You yeah, can see that both of their albums, their first album, Big Slice, followed by their second album, Live Out Loud. And you guys don't know much about the band Joe's Massive Attraction. I mean, Joe's Tamatli. Which this was way before Jones Mouse Attraction was even around. Jones Tonley comes from Montreal, Quebec, uh, Canada. He's a general warning, Canadian rock star, has released two successful studio albums and one compilation on their name. Jones is currently performing with his band, Jones Mouse Attraction, with his first album, Big Slice, was released back in 2010. But Jones uh, Tonley, before Jones Mouse Attraction was even around, in order to fall in his Fall in his blues manga, playing fire, fire footsteps. Hassel and Jones joined the choir, allowing them to travel around their home and skills. He started a rock band, Tower Rover Band, with whom he won his first prize in 1999 at Charm FM's annual contest, the, the Z Towns, as well as Bazook Plus doing a clip contest for his rock career. He formed a blues group called Jonas of the Blues Blood in 1998. As Jonas, he first released about three albums under his, under his name. His first as Edge of 17 covers of, of, of the old SD next period. And his gold, uh, on his gold selling first E.T. Charles for Jonas. Soon follow another hit, Show Me, turns out to reach the Quebec charts and tour North America with rock with Rockledge and Van Halen. The success of Jones earned two nominations at Juno Awards 2006 and the New Year's of the Year Rock Album of the Categories. Soon after his DVD, Jones Live as, as We Roll, a live recorded solo show on Jones Renown, which follows June 2nd. Two hours of five first release play of the week. His second album, Sweet Life, was put on October 12th and think featured new rock album Super Sex Week was the first single from it, Bows and Arrows. Was a great was the second great success of the album. Twelve to seven he released his third album, Promise Land. The album contained the best album from first team the best from his first two albums market and actually released. The album was never got the album was released, but never got out of Canada due to major battle with the record label. And shortly after the end of the four years' release, the release was all successful across the game tour, Collect Soul, and the band followed with their live DVD from a bunch of Bell Center for us, we call Live at the Bell Center. In 2010, Jones made some career changes, hired a new manager, Todd Littlefield, brought over his own contract, started Big Slice Records with management, which released the most successful single, Big Slice, on the album, the same and never leading long time player, Corey Lavo. He renamed the band Jones' Massive Attraction, he did so to pay tribute to his bandmates. As for him, he was never sold project. Jones continues to rock their radioways with Big Slice and he's joined a busy international touring schedule. So, hope you guys enjoy the uh, Jones' Massive Attraction review up next. I did a dream cover from their very first album under Jones Massive Attraction. 